Hi guys, it's Chris at Court and Crown. Not in my cider shed, but with another cider charm. So where are you, Chris? Good question. I'll tell you where I am. I'm in Monmouthshire. I'm in Wales. Why are you there, Chris? Good question. Visiting cider makers. So yesterday I saw Bollywood Orchards. Then I saw Ross on Y. Then I saw Kevin at Mono Valley. Then I saw Phil at Palmer's Upland Cider, who makes the little Jenny Wren that I loved so much. And I had a brilliant... I'll talk more about him, but I had a great visit. I mean, they've all been brilliant, actually. All great. Really good. Um, today, so that was for day one. Day two today, I did um, Skybury, or Skibbury. I'm not Skybury, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, to be honest. Skybury is how it's written. Uh, that was great. Amazing place. Loads of things to try from them. And then I went to, uh, where did I go after that? Ty Bryn in Wales, a much more traditional. Lots of barrel-aged sort of blended still ciders, much more in the traditional sense. Skybury's kind of more contemporary, sort of champagne bottles and stuff like that. Whereas uh, uh, Ty Bryn are more kind of, uh, do a lot of bag in box still stuff, but I got some sparkling stuff from them. I got some perry from them and some ciders, and two ciders from them as well. I'm gonna try those. And uh, what else did I do? Then I went to Artist Raw Cider and spent some time with Lydia and Tom, and that was excellent as well. Really good. Got some stuff from them to try. Um, yeah, and I'm um, going to be selling it in London. I don't think they sell in London, so I'll be the first person doing that, I think, which will be pretty brilliant. Uh, but that was an excellent visit as well. And then after that, I went to May Hill, which is located on the Gloucestershire Herefordshire border. And it's sort of like the spiritual home of Perry. All Perry is meant, all great Perry is meant to come from within sight of May Hill. It's a very distinctive hill. It's got like tall uh, pines, I think they are, on the top. So it's like a more heat of uh, trees on the top. Uh, so I climbed up there because the, the sun was out. It's beautiful. Fantastic vistas from across the Seven Vale to the Cotswolds and all the way over to Wales as well. Brilliant. And it's almost like a pilgrimage. I even got a couple of pine cones. Where have they gone? I've got some pine cones. I picked up a couple of pine cones from there as well, just as a mentor. Because I'm a romantic old fool. So, let's try some cider. So what are we going to try? We're going to try, it's a Ross and Y actually. Um, I mean, the, I do the Jenny, not Jenny Ren, but I've done that one. This is a new one. I've got some new stuff, new samples. So this is called Stockmore Farm Blend. So what does it say on the bottle? I know nothing about it. This cider is a delightful single orchard blend produced with bitter sweet apples we, we bought from Stockmore Farm in Herefordshire. A savoury aroma spiced with raisins leads into a light and gentle side with subtle dancing apple flavours dancing across the tongue, completed with a characterful barrel finish, described by Mike as an easy drink thirst quencher. Beware the 8.3% ABV. Okay, yeah. Fermented in a note cast for six months, matured in a neutral container, and then bottle conditioned. I wonder if it's in the whiskey barrel again. Because I had what I had from them yesterday. I had something from them. And I, it was in an oak barrel, and I didn't realise actually it was, a, it was a bourbon barrel. I could really taste the bourbon. What the heck was it? Was it Tremlitz? It might have been Tremlitz. I think it was a Tremlitz. So, 8.3%. Stockmore Farm Blend. Don't know where Stockmore Farm is exactly. But, let's pour it out. Check out my tasting glass. Yeah, plastic cup. Not really up to the task, I don't think. It's quite a nice... Go, it's golden amber. Huh? It's a lovely golden amber. Slightly hazy. Let's try and get a smell out of it. I feel a bit... I've been up... I've been driving all last couple of days. I haven't got much sleep either, so... I'm not feeling very, ugh, like I smell up, I'll try. Oh yeah, nice fresh ripe fruit. There's almost like a, what's that? It's, um, what did they put on here? What was that thing they put on here? Uh, savoury spice raisins. Blah, 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 blah. I'm getting something on the, it's a fruit. Is that mango or something? Yeah, I feel I'm getting some mango on the nose. Didn't say about mango on there, but I feel like I'm getting some mango on the nose, which is a very pleasant thing, like dried mango kind of aroma. A little bit of their funk, which we love. Quite delicate, but some funk, a bit of aged apple, and something which I want to call mango, so I'm going to call it mango. Mango. Let's try it. Mmm. Nice. And I think there was some tropical fruit on that. And I'm going to say mango again. I think there's a mango character to that, which I very much like. That is tasty. It's got tannins. Not really aggressive. 
nice, nice um, astringency. You know, it's there, not overpowering. Hint of leatherness on the back, it's a little bit of hard tannin, a bit of minerality, gentle acidity, very gentle acidity, but nice, it's nice, it's got enough acidity, I think. And then that kind of, what I want to call them, it's, it's, they said raisins, it's gone. Am I being mad? Am I just weirdly detecting like bourbon or something? I don't feel like I am. Mmm, that is rich, tasty, very quaffable. Mike is right about that. Um, but I think it's more than just a easy to drink thirst. I mean, it's easy to drink, but I think the stuff going on in it. I think that's a crap insider, actually. I really like that. A bit like an orange maybe character as well. You know? Yeah. Nice. That is interesting. I'm going to get some of that. I am getting some of that. I think that's a really nice cider. But 8.3. So I'm on Preston November 2019, bottled March 21, so yeah, 18 months old. That's good drinking right now, that is. So there you go. Going to be ordering some of that. Fact. So there you go, guys. So far, so good. Right, uh, I've got to piss down tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going to Cum Maddock and uh, Butford Organics. They're not too far away. And uh, so then I'll be heading back into London. Probably have to drive quite slowly because it's going to be pissing down. Um, but yeah. When I get back, there is so much to try. I've got weeks worth of stuff to get through, I think. I, mean, I thought I was going to get very little stuff. The back of the car is very much doing this. Um, I've got some cool stuff. So, keep watching. Next time, I'll be in my shed. So, yes, as always, thank you for joining me in a, a motel on the A40 just off the A40 in Wales. Uh, and until the next time, cheers. <laughs>